So here we have a missing number problem. 40 plus something equals 100. So let's take a blank 100 square. If we have 40, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. So how many more tens do we need to complete the square and make 100? We need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens. So we need 60. So if you counted each individual square, you would count 60 yellow squares needed to make 100. Now we can have a number family triangle, so this tells us that the numbers 40 and 60 make a number bond to 100. So as well as 40 plus 60, there are three more facts that we know from this triangle. What's the other three facts that we know? Well, we know that 60 add 40 equals 100, because you can add numbers in either order to get the same answer. And we also know two subtraction facts, because remember, when you subtract one of the numbers in our triangle from the top number, you get the other number. So 100 minus 60 is 40. So if we subtract those 60 yellow squares, we'll be left with 40 pink squares. And we know that 100 minus 40 is 60. So if we subtract the 40 pink squares, we'll be left with the 60 yellow squares. Now we're looking at number bonds to 100, but perhaps you have noticed a similarity with number bonds to 10. So 4 add 6 makes 10, and if you divide everything here by 10, or take off the 0, as I've done here, you can see that we have all the number facts here for a number bond to 10. So asking how many 10s do you need to make 100 is very similar to asking how many units you need to make 10. Now we have 30 plus something equals 100. So on a 100 square, if we have 10, 20, 30, or 3 10s, how many more 10s will we need to make 100? We need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 10s, and 7 10s is 70. So 30 and 70 are number bonds to 100. So if we know that 30 at 70 equals 100, what other three facts do we know? We know that 70 add 30 is 100. We know that 100 minus 70 equals 30. And we know that 100 minus 30 equals 70. So how is what we're doing here similar to number bonds to 10? Well, with number bonds to 10, we're looking at units. So if we have 3, we need 7 more to make 10. But with 10s, if we have 3 10s, then we need 7 more 10s to make 10 10s or to make 100. So let's think about how we can make number bonds to 100 with multiples of 10. We could have 100 and 0. We could have 90 and 10. Now pause the video and think about which other multiples of 10 make a number bond to 100. We could have 80 and 20. We could have 70 and 30. We could have 60 and 40. 
And finally, we could have 50 and 50.